Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you um, this cool thing that you can use with paper, sticky tape, and pencils. So first you'll need a piece of paper, then, whoops, um, get the sticky tape. Ah, sorry guys, I'm dropping the camera at the moment. So... So then you'll need some sticky tape, just some bits of sticky tape, and you can, what you're supposed to do is place them on the paper, and the camera's about to fall again, um, so you've got to place them on the paper. So we have a little bit now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of the sticky tape and fold it up like this so that, see so this, wait, so then this bit so I can pull, uh, pull it off. So then you just make like lots more. So while I'm doing this, you guys can do your own or fast forward the video. Ah! Sticky tape is bent. Ah! That's okay, I can fix it. Oh no! Uh oh, there we go. Whew. Oh, that was close. Ah no! Not again. Mm. Okay, so now I've got some sticky tape on the paper. You can just barely see but there is some sticky tape on the paper. Okay, so next what you have to do is with the pencils. So if you guys know this trick, you're probably starting to remember what this is, but if you guys have actually never heard of it, then I'm gonna show you. So what you would do is pick out one of the colors. I'll choose orange. I've got a band-aid on my thumb. Um, and colour in one of the sections. And you can colour on the sticky tape. Doesn't matter if you do or not. And you can just make a scribble. You don't have to leave, like, no white. You can just be whatever you want. So I am doing this on a carpet, so it might be just, like, see, see it's, like, a little bit too soft. Whereas if I was doing this on the floor then um then the color would be darker so it doesn't matter if it's like a scribble or not okay so i've got my orange part whoops again so now maybe i'll move on to dark green and i'll color in this section right here so you guys could do this so while i'm doing this you can do this step like colouring in everything. <laughs> but, and remember, doesn't matter if you colour on the sticky tape or not. Too 
too big. So I'm going to add a piece of sticky tape. So you, you don't have to like just colour it in and then forget about the sticky tape. You could even go over it but don't put it on the colour because that's not going to make a difference. I'll break a spot there. Okay, so now that spot isn't as big as it was, but it's still pretty big. It doesn't matter how big they are, they can be any size you want. Ah! purple. Looks like a jungle, like, like a safari at the moment. <laughs> like that green and the green, orange and red make it look like a safari a little bit. See, yeah, I'm kind of going off the paper only because like I don't colour as well as other people but Okay, so more colouring. So after this one that I'm doing right now, the last one is up next. Actually, ah, the paper ended. So it doesn't have to be strong, strong, strong colour. Like if you're colouring on the floor. Okay, last colour. We should do this blue. Because that's my favourite colour. You guys probably not know that. Because, you know, you think I like pink, but nope, I like blue. Or do I just maybe like a different colour? But I, I do love, love blue. I even once watched out just looking at blue cars. <laughs> that was just that was really fun when I used to do that. Okay, so I'm done colouring this. So this is what it now looks like. The colourful piece of paper. So now this is the tricky, tricky part. Because you could end up like tearing the paper. Now you have to take off the sticky tape. So you don't want to colour for too long, otherwise um, the sticky tape will just stay on there. Just stay on there. So I got rid of that part. Don't need this piece of sticky tape anymore. Now we could get this one. Wow, this is easier than when I did in, this in prep. This is way, way easier. Oh, now it will kind of rip off a layer of the paper, but not much. As long as you do it gently, the paper won't rip. So forget, don't forget to do this really gently because otherwise you could just like rip off, like rip the paper in half. Because if you had like a straight one, then you could rip the whole entire paper in half. Okay, one last bit, no, two last bits actually. Um, so this is a really cool craft that you can do at home. Oh wow, this is looking amazing. Oof. Okay, last bit, trying to pull it off. Oh, this one's really hard to pull off. Oh, I ripped the piece of sticky tape in half. Now I'm only pulling off one section. Oh, that was a teeny, teeny bit. Get off, you. Get off my finger. Ah, drop the camera again. Get off me. Good. I can't get this piece of sticky tape off. I'll have to try pulling it off a different way. See, this, I told you that this is the hardest thing. 
it might look like the easy step, but it's really hard. Oh, wait, try starting it from here. Sorry guys, you're just looking at my carpet right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm starting to get it. Yes, got it. Okay, let's pull this. Oh, uh oh, starting to pull the sticky tape. Ah! No, sorry, not the sticky tape, the paper. Oh my gosh. This is why this is really tricky. Because I'm pulling off layers of the paper, which means I could peel off colour. Okay, so I'm done now. This is what the result should look like. Isn't it cool? And of course, you could like go over it like this, just draw some black lines across. You don't have to. This part's the hardest because this is the part where I was having trouble with. Is that dolls making that sound? No, I don't think so. Try your best not to go into the colour. You, you can if you're not steady with the lines. But best off not doing it. One more bit. Plus you could connect to the lines so that like, um, like you could do like one bit of sticky tape like like that and then another bit of, like, so one bit of sticky tape like that, another one like that, so it'd make a cool rain. So now my, my graph looks much better and I like it. So you could do this at home. This is a DIY craft. So this is the end. I hope you guys liked it. So bye guys. Bye. And remember, this is a DIY craft so you can do it at home.